For creativity and innovation to emerge, someone has to generate the initial idea. But as importantly, someone else has to be open to the idea. In fact, what if they also tried to enhance the idea to build an even better solution? The good news is that Ken, hi Ken, can show you how to do this. Here's his three suggestions. Okay, this is an oldie but a goodie. The person enhancing the idea highlights its pros and cons. Then they work with the idea generator to transform the negatives into positives. You see, one of the temptations when people hear an idea is to judge it immediately. Invariably, this means a yes, but. I hear your idea, but this is what's wrong with it. But, 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 but. After a while, that's all you hear. A more productive approach is to make sure that the person hearing the idea replies, yes, and. For example, yes, I understand that you want to offer a prize for the winner, and why don't we also offer a prize for the person with the most entries? A yes and approach forces people to really listen to your idea and to find its positive energy. This approach completely changes the language of the idea receiver. Instead of judging the idea, the enhancer has to find what's interesting about it, or what's unique about it, or what's different or surprising. They can still reject the idea, but at least they've been forced to consider what might be interesting about it. These tools will help the idea generator and the enhancer build a better and more engaging solution together. Thanks, Ken.